This stuff looks like we shouldn't have it, but uh, <laughs> it's a grey area product. I haven't seen that toxic logo on that in years. <laughs> oh man. It's pretty cool seeing it all, the one colour. The cunt is finally gone and all the different shades. But we're getting there. Slowly. So at the time of making this video, it's uh, August 2023. The videos are still about a year behind. It's been six years in the making with this car. From pulling it out of a bush, trying to get all the metal work sorted, and then trying to get all the other bits sorted over the last six years, it's finally now onto the paint stages. I've spent the last year and a half commuting to work, up at 6.30 in the morning, home to Waterford at about 6 to drop off my brother and then on to Clamel to work on the car and then back home again for about 12 o'clock at night. Three to four nights a week, Tuesday to Friday, every week since May last year. It's insane. I'm driving 306 kilometers a day and over 1500k a week. The 86 videos have moved out of the shed and the car is now at the paint shop. Both of us have chugged away trying to do whatever we can in our spare time after work, after hours. It's a labour of love. I can't wait to look back at the 1500k to work and laugh at how insane this whole thing was. Juicebox, my life and the shed shenanigans has all been stretched to the absolute tin the last year. There hasn't been much room for anything else except for working on this car. Everything else has been in limp mode. I've just been throwing every spare minute into this. Monday is vlog night. Midweek is working on the 8.6, Saturday is trying to catch up on all the stuff I neglected midweek, and then Sunday then I'm trying to catch up on video stuff and go back again. It's just this cycle that hasn't ended. Regardless, I'm so eager to finish this car. It, this whole year has felt like the final boss stretched out over a year long period, and I can't thank Jackie enough for sticking back with me to do this. It's insane, both of us are seriously committed to just putting this car into the finishing stages. I'm gonna condense the last year into about four or five videos. Try to bring people up to speed on the project. It's not finished yet, but it's close. In between the build videos, I'll put in whatever else happened over the last year. But I think condensing all this into smaller videos will really help. I really hope you appreciate the next set of videos on the car. There's very little goofing around and lots of progress. Something I think that was needed with the build. I'm either completely insane or the most stubborn fucker who just doesn't want to give up on the 8.6 stream. Regardless, I hope you enjoy this video. We're up in an undisclosed location and uh, the car is here with Jackie, as you can see. It's been up here the last little while. Jackie's already gotten excited. During the week he sent me a video on WhatsApp. He was uh, curious what was behind this and he wanted to smash it out for the last five years so he just said he had no patience and he wanted to get stuck in. Luckily enough, behind it was actually, it was grand. Yeah. Just a shit repair. A repair. And somebody got lazy. Yeah. And then, last night then, you and Theo spent about three hours just fettling this out with the... Miracle. The miracle system from Japan. <laughs> Using Japanese tools on a Japanese ship box. Just to do all this way, like. No, I thought I'd be on the road about four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be done for me 30, I'm 34 in like three weeks. Yeah. Started in 2017, man. It's nearly, nearly where the lads wanted to be. Your goal is to use as little filler as possible on the whole car. No, like little as little yeah. as none. Yeah, a, a yeah, yeah. But uh, you can see from the footage, um, this area here is just still being a little bit of a bollocks because there's so many angles on it, and the material here is just is paper. dead. Yeah. It's paper. So when the lads were pulling it with the keys, it's just ripping apart and stuff. You can see here where it's literally coming off. So you're going to slice it here, are you, to pull it out? Just weld up any of them little holes first. Yeah. And then uh, we'll just cut it along that line there. Yeah. And it should kind of free this up because it's just, it was springing last night. Yeah. And, and you can see it pulling the whole pocket, like, yeah. yeah. So, because the plan, like, it's still a little bit out, so yeah, going to nip it. It's still swell there, so yeah. hopefully now when cut this, 
and we'll pull this out. It should yeah. kind of relieve it a little bit. Get this for a logo. So obviously this stuff looks like we shouldn't have it, but uh, <laughs> it's a grey area product. Um, you can tell that this stuff's going to be good just by how shit the graphics are on the can. Like I'd say they've had, yeah, I'd say they've had the same logo on this since the seventies or the eighties. But uh, Jackie told me to get this Strip Away Pro. I guess they don't need to brag because it's probably fucking awesome stuff. Yeah. But um, sadly, to to everyone that's you know wondering what's happening, we are taking off all of this scutter, everything. As long as I've known this car, it's looked like a rubbed down slightly maroon piece of shit and uh, that's going to start changing today. We'll try and document a bit of this, rubbing this shit down and fucking taking it off. Jackie's going to spend all the time over here working on this and I'm going to get messy and do the roof and do this quarter panel and well, we'll see, we'll see how much we get done. I'm very excited, good boy. It's, it, it's sad in a way because the car has so much character with all the stupid fucking things on it. It's got photos to remember that version of it. It's time to move on. <laughs> You've wanted to get this for so long. This is about three years overdue of being up with you, so. Yeah, we thought about four weeks. Yeah. And hang on, I need to explain it, right? So some people were asking why Flip wasn't painting the car, what's going on and everything. So I'm just going to explain this. So. Jackie has wanted to paint a car for me for way too long, many, many, many years. I would say about, I don't know, a long, a long time. And I had forgotten about it. I was like, all right, whatever. But he always said it years ago because I never had a car and everybody else had cool cars and stuff. And he always said, if you ever get a car, I want to paint your car. And then when I got this, he just said it to me again. He's like, I haven't forgot you. I'm going painting your car. So yeah, he, he was, he, you're now a been roped into the person that's painting the car. You know I was willing to get to it. I know. And it's something that you said to me many years ago. And so for anyone wondering, that's the reason why. Jackie asked could he paint my car about, even before I had one, about six or seven years ago. And then when the time came to get this, that was it. So we done all the other stuff down in our shed. And then the final coat then is, is you, so. Ah, it's, just, it's nice to do it here, you know. Yeah. Everything is here to do exactly. it. Exactly. It's easier. And you've been painting cars since you're about... 17, 16, um, are doing well, body I'm work. Being since I'm 17, yeah. 18 years. That's 19 all. Years. It's all you've been doing. I don't know, like. Which is great. It's great in one way. It's not I don't know, way. man. As people say, I'm very lucky I have the right friends. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is going to be a fun it's a few months of coming up here and trying to document this. We're on to the, I guess, the final, final stage. The final stage. Uh, it'll come together pretty quick. Yeah. It should, like. Even last night, man, watching you use this shit, like the two of you together, just, it's fucking super cool to see. You know, I haven't been around this stuff in a long time. It says straight lines. No, no orbit. Yeah. Drop it up. Sweet. That's great seeing the old cunting and all that just disappear. <laughs> go down along here as well? Oh, yeah, everywhere, man, yeah. Straight lines. Yeah. <laughs> Even just the fucking logo on the side of it. I haven't seen that toxic logo on that in years. <laughs> oh man. Like wallpaper paste or something. Fucking delicious. Yeah. Last time. Last time we left. Well, it's nearly gone anyway because I fucking painted over it. But... Look at this. This is how shit this stuff is. Double gloved. Oh, I can't wait to do this. I've wanted to do this for fucking since I got it. Even before that. First time I saw this yoga, just I wanted to save it. Give me, it gave me anxiety. Oh yeah, it's been this. <laughs> oh man, this is fucking great. <laughs> arch off in seconds. Look at that. It's bubbling its way through everything. It's funny, so you see all the places where the car was worked on then, like there's the fucking B pillar out of that white choke and then there's the roof, everything's just a different That's colour. Right. Jesus. Oh fuck, you can hear it. It's popping. 
Sounds oh, like. Bang on more on that roof. Yeah. See the way it starts kind of drying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking ladder. Right. Open. Literally popping off the car. Look at that. I've never seen stuff this extreme. It's fucking crazy shit, isn't it? It's just walking off the car. Unbelievable. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye fucking 20 or 30 years of misery. <laughs> Look at that. That's unbelievable. It's actually fucking melting the brush. Is that the eco underneath or is it? Is that fucking eco, yeah, but that like it's So you zipped it there so you could... Yeah, just put the fucking miracle pull on it. And yeah. Got it out a bit and then just clean it out and just like... It's been stubborn enough in some places. In some places, yeah. Really, really. stubborn, yeah. Yeah, some of it's been a bit stubborn, but most of it kind of walked off. Now the plan is to hit it with a 80 grit on the sander, try and just lift off the rest of it. That epoxy is unbelievable. And I can't believe it, look at that, that like it's on it five years and we put the nitromorse on it or whatever to strip away and that epoxy primer That's the real. first, first time everything. I've yeah. never fucking seen that happen. Not even moving. <laughs> I film all of this because it'd get a bit boring just watching me sanding but a good hour on this side just getting off all the scutter same down there with the pocket it's pretty cool seeing it all the one color the cunt is finally gone and all the different shades and it's all nearly just back to raw metal same on the roof so I'll have to do that side but yeah it's cool look all the the bits that have been added in Fucking nice. Jackie has been fettling this side, which nearly looks like it was never mangled. A little bit of cleaning up. And Slow, tedious, yeah, tedious yeah. kind of enjoyable. Yeah, I like it, man. It's nice finally, you just even seen Barry's arches and all the metal, everything just in the one, one, uniform. one uniform color. You can actually start to see the shape and the profile now. Because it was even hard to fucking see him. Yeah, you know, because you're, yeah, 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 no. It was, it was like a big build there, and you couldn't really see it, now you can. Fucking lovely. Jesus, yeah. Really nice. He's a tasty man. He's a tasty old fucker. It's funny to think that there's a fucking, there's a shopping trolley in there, like. <laughs> <laughs> for one night hope you enjoyed strip away pro and the pop and sound it makes loads of sanding and grinding and then 
Jackie fettling the, the quarter panel. Look, it's a pretty awesome to see progress and like fast progress from such a kind of a slump and then it picked up speed. I mean, only a few months ago I was trying to get Barry down to finish it and now it's already getting sanded down for paint. So kind of the progress accelerated again. Day three on the 8.6 and uh, today I'm gonna grind out all my nice middle finger, all of this that the stripper didn't take, all these little angles there, all this kind of shite. Fucking fantastic. There's the uh, excitement here. So I am using this little wheel and just grinding out all this. All of this, every little angle. night I got the aggressive paint stripper on this side start stripping this off and um, really looking forward to hitting this now with a bit of 80 just to grind it back and then I'm gonna take off the boot lid to get the wire wheel in and uh, just get all this stuff out it's a uh, pretty epic to see that paint off after all this time it's nice to see a bit of Barry's handiwork here as well and then Jackie has uh, been pulling this dent out over here. There used to be a dent in this, probably seen it, but uh, he's been pulling that out and grinding it back so it's nearly, nearly right. So the whole car has got to look like this, strip back to bare metal. So my plan tonight is to try and grind back as much of this as possible and then I'm gonna work on the back. This stuff is dangerous. We actually burn through Look at that, and it just ate the fresh paint on the inside. So I have to be super careful when I'm when I'm doing this because uh, I'm highly underestimating how dangerous this stuff is. I'm happy to come up here as much as possible because we're on the home stretch now with the build, and it's, it's man, I've fantasized about doing this for so long. So stick with us while I endure the misery. I'm I'm almost kind of missing the paint to be honest, but at the same time, once I see it off. The car finally starts to feel like it's mine. Just seeing all that stupid, like, mismatch color just coming off is the best thing ever. So, we're hitting it with uh, 80 grit just to take it all off. The lads are still working on this corner piece here. Eventually, it's going to be right, but uh, yeah, it's so good to see the progress. Nice little orbital sander with a, with a vacuum on it. Freshness. And then going across to the original paint, and then all the way into the ship. And then the only part of the original paint that's left is right here. Looks fine. That looks perfect. Yeah. And then, oh, okay. Yeah, there was quite a nasty old curve in on it. That one. That's what happens with these, the axle is solid, so when they bottom out, the suspension usually catches the fucking arch. Or else 
close at all. And just kinks the quarter. Minimal filler. Yeah, that's the goal. So, just like last night then, the other side now. Other side, the not so glamorous side to it all. Yeah, this is. this is why stuff is expensive when people ask to get this kind of stuff done. Because if you want to build someone for all the hours, if you're doing shit like this, people don't see this stuff. Yeah. All they see yeah, is the shiny... Yeah, they do. They just don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is usually you give someone back just a big shiny item. Yeah, they, they drop it in and we just give it back to them all nice and... Fucking shiny and new like. This is the fucking misery it's involved in. <laughs> you like doing it on stuff you like. Exactly. Well, like I said to you earlier, aren't I? I don't forget to do this. Oh, yeah, God, you're I'm always working on... There, like. Yeah. I'm working on stuff that's pretty generic. I don't know, you see like American shops and American YouTubers and it's just all these cool lads working on really cool machines, but I don't know anyone in Ireland that literally probably does just cool shit for a living. It's quite rare. <laughs> Instead, the things that pay the bills are just like scuttery vans and fucking... That's, a phase <laughs> that's, of the, that's the reality. And then this stuff is kind of a side project. Yeah, this is just the stuff you tip away at. This is the stuff to keep you kind of fucking happy in the long term. Yeah, that's the stuff, like, that's the shit. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking hate vans oh, so hate much. Anything commercial, man. Because the person driving the hates it too, like. Yeah. You know? Check this out. Look at this machine. Someone's gonna say it, they'll be like, what is that? We don't even know what it is. He told me earlier, uh, it's I feel like we should Google it, because someone's gonna give out. Yeah, it's got a W on it, so we'll, uh, we'll text one of our mates, Evan, and he will tell us what it is. But to me, it looks like a mini with a boot. Yeah. Mad looking yoke, look how primitive this is. This is in for an old paint job. But, uh, you haven't done any to work on this. Zero. You've just been told to throw it. I got told, don't look at it. Just paint it. Don't look at it, just throw a lick of paint over it. But this is kind of like the generation before us, which is kind of funny, of just like old lads building stuff in Ireland. Pretty mint. But yeah, Jackie's after doing all this side now. There's still a few little spots that he has circled that he'll get around to. And then I'm still at the wire wheel fun. <laughs> but moved on to the back panel now. Try to grind off all this. The old uh, paint stripper doesn't seem to be as strong back here. There's a lot of layers. But, yeah. Not the most riveting footage, but it's progress, and that's what's important. Lots of it. Yeah. I'll try to document as much of this as I can. You don't want to see, like, four hours of, of you doing Look this. Of me just, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Or fucking four hours of me doing this. So, I'll document stages here and there, but the plan is to strip the whole thing back to bare metal, take off the doors, do all that, and then once it's in bare metal, then we have the perfect base to... Oh, we epoxy it, and then we yeah. can... Like, all, it's to get the metal basically there. Yeah, so you're starting from scratch, like... Epoxy it, and then we can... Like, it's, it's going to need fucking fillers. Yeah. It's just not to be, like, lumping Yeah, you're trying to use as little as possible. Very fucking small. It's a wipe. That's yeah. what you're going to use. We've got the tunes on the background. You can probably hear them over the Festool Clean Tech. <laughs> We've got some serious technology here. It's uh, all the best stuff. Grinding off all this stuff is something I've wanted to do since I bought the car. So, And what's funny is Dan started doing it 10 years ago. And when I sent him a message the other day, he literally just texted me going, thanks for finishing the job that I started 10 years ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> because that was his plan with this. And he gave up, as you can see there. It looks like he gave up here. <laughs> he was just like, fuck that, I'm finishing, so. 10 years ago, I think it was even longer, maybe 12 years ago he started this, and then we're only getting around to it now. Not for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.
hell bent on fucking getting the back quarter or, or back handle done. Lovely. Nearly done. We're absolutely covered in fucking paint and shite. 30 year old, 30 year old paint. I'm tasting the paint. It tastes rusty. But uh, yeah, the whole back panel is basically done. Just have to do the lower piece. But uh, yeah. Slow, tedious work. But we're getting there. Slowly. Beautiful.